Hey guys, it's Becca. Today I'll be showing you how to recreate my Suho Let's Love inspired design. To start off, paint the first nail black. Use white paint or polish to make the outline of a jagged triangle. Block off where the hair and face will be and fill that section in with white. Use a beige polish to fill in the ear and the face. Add highlights and shadows to the ear. Use a very dark brown to fill in the hair and then highlight the left edge with a light brown. Add a couple of small white dots for highlights. Add a closed eye with black paint or polish and then use various shades of beige and tan to add dimension to the face. Sealing your design with a top coat. For the next design, start off by painting your nail teal. Use white paint or polish to make a rectangle with the top two corners rounded. Fill in the bottom part of the rectangle with light purple. You can use a brush dipped in acetone to soften the top edge. Fill in the top of the rectangle with a light yellow polish. Add a triangle of peach polish to each side of the rectangle where the yellow and purple meet. Use acetone to soften the edges between the colors. Add a couple of short white dashes and then paint over them with a sheer yellow. Make the shape of a torso with black paint or polish. Use beige polish for the neck and then add a head of black hair. Use light and dark grey polishes to add highlights to the back and the hair. Sealing your design with a top coat. For this nail, start off with a peach base. Outline the nail with a light beige polish. Paint Suo's silhouette using a reddish-brown polish. Use a dark brown polish to continue the shadow over the frame, making sure to offset it a bit from the rest of the shadow. Sealing your design with a top coat. For this nail, you'll want to start off with a black base. Use grey and white polishes to make the right side of a light fixture. Add a white oval as the inside of the light and then add a smaller, light grey oval within it. Mm. 
Use a very dark gray polish to fill in the body of the light. Add the light bulb with opaque white and then use a sheer white to make the glow from the bulb. You can use acetone to thin it out a little. Sealing your design with a top coat. For the last design, start off by painting your nail white. On this nail, I'm trying to recreate the colorful, painterly style of the self-portrait album cover. Where you put the colors isn't super important, you just want it to look colorful and abstract. You can do whatever you want, but I recommend including the colors that you used on the other nails, like the teal and peach polishes, to create consistency in the overall design. Once you're happy with the base, top coat the nail. Once the top coat is dry, use white paint or polish to write Suho. It's really important here to top coat the nail before adding the text. The clear layer will help create an illusion that the text is floating slightly above the busy background instead of blending into it. Sealing your design with a top coat and you're done! All of the products used in this video will be listed in the description below. Thanks for watching!